I'm Brom Winans. I'm here to uh, do a little performing for you for the uh, virtual Endless Mountain Music Festival. Um, I'm doing a lot of stride piano and some uh, blues, barrel house uh, stride blues. Um, I love stride piano all my life and it makes me happy. And uh, hopefully when you listen to this, it will make you a little happy too, especially in this time of Corona. Um, I also hope that uh, very soon we get to play for live audiences again, but in the meantime, we'll just have to do it this way and I hope you enjoy it. Um, I made a selection of songs um, that I have done in the past on the uh, EMMF and in other places as well. Um, I'm going to start with a song from uh, Kansas City, Missouri, which was uh, very uh, famous for its jazz history and its jazz happenings, especially in the 20s and 30s. Um, this was written by Mary Lou Williams, a great African-American um, pianist and uh, composer. It's called uh, Scratching in the Gravel, and it's from 1940. My next selection is Come On, Get Happy, Forget Your Troubles. In other words, Get Happy. It was a song written by Harold Ireland. And um, 
It was uh, recorded in 1930 for the first time by the singer Ruth Edding. And uh, later on it also appeared with uh, a song by Judy Garland in the uh, musical Summer Stock, uh, together with Gene Kelly. Here it is, Get Happy. Fun, yeah, I like that song. Here's another fun one. It's called I Want to Be Happy. It's uh, written or was written by uh, Vincent Humans. He also wrote songs like uh, Tea for Two. All these composers, except for Mary Lou Williams in this case, um, or most of these composers anyway, um, wrote a lot of songs for Tin Pan Alley back in the day when, uh, you know, Tin Pan Alley was a big thing in the early 20th century. They wrote songs for vaudeville shows, Broadway shows, um, different things. Also, just to, you know, to sell sheet music. Uh, Gershwin was one of the composers uh, that did a lot, uh, a lot of work in Tim Penn Alley, but so did Harold Ireland, Vincent Humans, Jerome Kern, a lot of those. Um, this is a great song. I want to be happy, and I think it's uh, really appropriate now. Uh, during Corona time to play music like this. 
Hopefully it will put a smile on your face. Here it is. I gotta get in shape for that. <laughs> okay, the uh, next selection is uh, an old song um, written by Louis Armstrong, as a matter of fact. Um, it's called I'm Confessing.
Yeah, a fun, happy little song. I'm confessing that I love you. It's the full title of that. Uh, my next selection is by Jerome Kern, also a great composer. Did a lot of stuff for uh, um, Tim Penale, Broadway shows. Also did some uh, uh, Broadway shows in London, England for a while. And this one is called Pick Yourself Up. This is an excellent example of the way John, uh, Jerome Kern uh, composed. Um, he, uh, his songs had really interesting bridges and um, it would go outside of the tonality or the tonic or you know the, of the key the song was written in it would uh, go away from that further than a lot of other songs that were written in the same time period uh, so it's it's really cool to listen to Jerome Kern's songs and especially when the bridge comes along um, you'll hear what I'm talking about when I play it this was featured in um, a Fred and Ginger movie in, uh, I believe, 1936, Swing Time. So here it is by Jerome Kern, Pick Yourself Up. Donaldson uh, composition. It's called Love Me or Leave Me. Um, it was featured in a movie about, yeah, here comes uh, Ruth Edding again, that name comes back, uh, 
I believe it was 1955, the Doors Day, and James Cagney, and it was like um, a biopic on Ruth Edding, the singer in the 20s. Um, she sang this uh, song, and uh, Doors Day obviously sang it in the movie too. It's a beautiful song. Walter Donaldson, Love Me or Leave Me. And um, I have one more selection for you. Um, it's a slow blues. It's uh, partially played in stride and uh, partially played with like a left hand boogie or barrel house uh, pattern. Um, real quick on stride piano. Stride uh, piano, the stride uh, term comes from the striding motion in the left hand. And you, you can see that I'm doing that a lot, you know, like. Anyway, so it, uh, it goes back and forth all the time, and that's called stride piano. So, this slow blues, like I said, partially in stride, partially with um, um, a barrel house pattern. You'll hear the difference in the left hand when I play it. It was written in 1926. It was, it's a typical piano blues thing. It's, uh, we should categorize it as barrel house blues. Uh, barrel house referring to the old beer houses in the south. Um, where, you know, you had a rinky-dink uh, beat-up piano and people were playing barrel house and boogie-woogie on it and stuff like that. 
Um, so uh, it was written in 1926 by Dink Johnson. It's called Stella Blues, and it's a perfect example of a very pretty uh, blues. So I hope you enjoy it. And that was uh, the last song of my selection for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed yourself and like I said before I hope we can uh, at some point soon play for the audiences in the real world again uh, but in the meantime I hope this has been a little bit uplifting for you and um, thank you uh, Endless Mountain Music Festival for letting me 
be a part of this uh, virtual edition again. Um, so, like I said, I hope to see everybody again soon. Thank you very much.